she was in a friend of mine, a great job for everybody. A Japanese fella came in for a job one day, and God bless us now, as again, I don't mean to be disrespectful when they say that they're, they're not as tall as us. But this fella had never ever been to Ireland, and he had no words of English, and he's up looking for the job, and the little said, Oh, hi, 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 oh, and my father said, what's wrong with him? And someone said he's looking for a job. They gave him a pair of overalls, a wheelbarrow, and sent him off working on the site with no words of English. And after a week on the site, this poor Japanese fellow was losing weight. The weight was falling off. And everybody was scared. Maybe this man has picked up a tropical disease and it's going to spread. And somebody said, no, the reason he's lost weight is because the man isn't eating. The man is starving. He doesn't know what to eat. He's from a different culture. He doesn't know what to order to eat. And if I was a little sort of moment, come here, 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 come no, no, if you listen to me, you love you. Rhubarb talk. You'll starve if you don't listen to me, listen. Rhubarb talk. And he practiced for about an hour and he went in on the, the day and he went into the canteen and he went up to the lady and there's a queue and he came up to her and he says, uh, a rhubarb tart. She says, what? <laughs> He's a rhubarb tart. A rhubarb tart. And she gave him the rhubarb tart. He ate it like it was going out of fashion. He was starving. The minute he was finished, he couldn't wait to go for another. Up again. Ah, rhubarb tart. Rhubarb tart. Rhubarb tart. She gave him another. He went up five times that day. The following day, ten times. Rhubarb tart. Ah, rhubarb tart. By the end of the week, he was fluent in robot talk. <laughs> the only two words he knew, robot talk, robot talk. Five months went by. And it was the bank holiday weekend at Easter, and the feathers were back on the Tuesday morning, no sign of the Japanese feather. Nying Yang Nyuk wasn't there. And I said, yeah, he, was going the, he was going at the robot talk a fair bit now, he was at it. And on the Thursday morning, the gates of the site opened, and here comes this pitiful sight walking across. Oh! 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 And he walks straight up to the foreman, you see. Oh! No more Rubata! Oh! oh! No more Rubata! No more! Oh! No more! No more! So, my dad, my dad being the foreman, realized he's off, this guy's had an accident. Or two. And he said, come here, we have to tighten you up. Come here for a second, we tighten you Now it's different. No, no more room on top. No, no, you know, no. Ham sandwich. Ham <laughs> sandwich? No, ham sandwich. And he practiced it for three hours and he got it right. Ham sandwich. And he walks up to the poor woman in the canteen. Oh! She says, Ruba, no, 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 oh, no more Ruba, no. He says, ha, summer. She says, a big pardon? He says, oh, ham sandwich. And she says, ham sandwich. Yeah, ham sandwich. And she says, do you want brown bread or white bread? But do you want a brown bread or white bread? Oh, Han Summer! Do you want brown? Oh, it's a Rubota! Rubota! <laughs> Two 